हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो वेलकम टू द सेकंड लेक्चर ऑन नॉन स्टेशनरी इटरेटिव मेथड्स सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक व्हिच वी हैव डिस्कस इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर मींस स्टीपेस्ट डिसेंट मेथड्स वी विल सी फ्यू मोर प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ दिस ग्रेडिएंट मेथड सो इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई टोल्ड यू दैट स्टीपेस्ट डिसेंट मेथड वर्क्स लाइक दिस यू आर हैविंग the residual edge b minus axk and which is the such direction also then what we have taken we have taken alpha k that is the step plant edge rk transpose rk upon आर के ट्रांसपोज ए आर के नाउ द फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी वी आर गोइंग टू लुक हियर विच इज ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टी इन स्टीपेस्ट डिसेंट मेथड दैट इज इन स्टीपेस्ट डिसेंट मेथड कॉन्सिक्यूटिव such directions so this is direction dk we denote it by dk in general setting r orthogonal to each other means what i want to say that dk is orthogonal to dk plus 1 for k equals to 0 1 2 and so on mean d0 is orthogonal to d1 then d1 is orthogonal to d2 and so on so let us try to prove it so we have dk plus 1 which is basically rk plus 1 residual and this is b minus a xk plus 1 in gradient uh, steepest descent this equals to b minus a and xk plus 1 will be xk plus alpha k dk so this becomes b minus a xk minus alpha is an scalar so alpha is a scalar so alpha k into a dk b minus a xk can be written as rk minus alpha k a and dk is also rk so now if i check the inner product of dk plus 1 with dk which is inner product of rk plus 1 with rk this becomes rk dk minus alpha k r k sorry yeah a d k with d k because d k plus 1 i am writing in this form so the inner product of d k with d k plus 1 will be first term will come r k d k minus alpha k i am taking out a r k or a, i have written a d k here with d k this becomes rk into rk so i am writing everything in terms of rk because dk equals to rk minus if you see the value of alpha k alpha k is inner product of rk with rk upon rk a rk into a 
R K R K. So this will be one. So it will become zero. So the inner product of two consecutive such directions are zero, means they are orthogonal to each other. Now let us see another variant of steepest descent method that is steepest descent method when the given matrix A is not symmetric as well as positive definite. So, non symmetric steepest descent. So, we have seen that in steep edge descent method the matrix A must be symmetric and positive definite in order to have a unique minima of functional q x equals to half x t a x minus x transpose b which is also a solution of the linear system x equals to b. Now, just consider that A is not SPD, SPD stands for symmetric and positive definite, but it is non-singular. Then the matrix A transpose A is symmetric as well as positive definite and the algorithm can be applied instead of a x equals to b we can apply it to the normal equation of a x equals to b and which is a transpose a x equals to a transpose b. So, this I can write a x equals to b where a cap is a transpose a and b cap is a transpose b. So, here you can easily see that a cap is symmetric and positive definite. So, I can apply the steepest descent method. So, this is the strategy for applying steepest descent method for a general system where a is not symmetric and positive definite. Let us take an example of it. Solve the linear system x equals to b using steepest descent method with initial solution is 0 0 0 transpose and a is given as 3 1 0 0 3 2 1 1 0 
and b is for 1 0. So, if you see that the matrix A is neither symmetric nor positive definite. Hence, we cannot apply the gradient dis uh, steepest descent algorithm directly on this system. Means, we cannot minimize the functional half of x t a x minus x transpose b using the steepest descent method. So, what we will do here? We will apply the method on a transpose a x equals to a transpose b. So, let us first calculate a transpose a. So, a transpose a will become 3 1 0 0 3 2 1 1 0 transpose into 3 1 0 0 3 2 1 1 0 and this comes out to be 10 4 0 4 11 6 and 0 6 4. The same time we calculate a transpose into B and it becomes 12 7 and 2. So, now instead of the original system A x equals to B, we are going to solve A transpose A x equals to A transpose B. So, for applying the steepest descent method here, this matrix should be positive definite because it will be symmetric. It is product of a matrix with its transpose. So, it will be symmetric always. So, positive definite if we check here. So, 10 is greater than 0. If I take this 10 4 4 11. So, this is 94 which is greater than 0 and determinate of a transpose a comes out to be 16 which is again positive. So, hence a transpose a is a symmetric and positive definite matrix and we can apply the steepest descent method here. So, let us apply here the method. So, my R 0 will become a transpose b minus a transpose a x 0 which comes out to be 12 7 2 transpose. Now, I calculate my alpha 0 which is R 0 transpose into R 0 upon R 0 transpose A R 0. So, it will come out to be a scalar and in the similar way as we, we have done in the previous lecture, we can apply the steepest descent method and the solution of this system will be the solution of the original system. In particular, this procedure where the steepest descents we are applying on the normal equations of the original system. So, this procedure is called the residual norm steepest descent. Here, the functional being minimized is so it will be 
instead of q x I am writing psi x, because it is a different function and it is half inner product of a x with a x minus x a transpose b. If you check the earlier one in case of standard steepest descent it was q x which was half x with a x minus x b. So, here you can notice that we are having this a transpose b instead of b it is because now my b is in the normal equation a transpose b and similarly instead of this x I am having a x here because it is I am applying of a transpose a instead of a and this method minimizes the Euclidean norm of the residual that is x minus b and if you can recall the least square approximation method in that method we have written the solution like x equals to a transpose a inverse into a transpose b. So, here this solution which we are obtaining with residual norm steepest descent method is similar what we are obtaining using least square approximation. Now, let us see another important property of the steepest descent method. So, this I will write as instant convergence of steepest descent method. So, let us write this result. So, if the initial error that means r 0 which is b minus x 0 is an eigen vector of the coefficient matrix A in the steepest descent method then the method converges in just one iteration only. So, what I want to say if your initial solution you choose in such a way that the initial residual or initial error becomes an eigen vector of the coefficient matrix then the steepest descent method will converge in just one iteration to the exact solution. Let us see the proof of this. So, let lambda v be an eigen pair of a So, lambda is an eigen value and corresponding eigen vector is v. It means a into v equals to lambda into v let us say this is equation 1. Now, assume initial solution is x 0 which is the error. So, this is x star minus v 
where x star is the exact solution of x equals to b. So, what I am assuming here I am taking the initial solution as the error. If I choose my initial solution in this way then what you can see from here that the error in the initial solution will be. So, initial error E 0 will be or R 0 here x star minus x 0 this is x star minus x 0 is x star minus v. So, this will become v. So, I am taking initial error as the Eigen vector of the matrix A. So, now calculate R 0. So, calculate R 0, R 0 will become b minus x 0. So, b minus a x 0 we have chosen x star minus v. So, b minus a x star plus a v x star equals to b. So, b will be cancel out it will remain as a v and a v is nothing just lambda times v. So, the initial residual is a multiple of a scalar multiple of v which is again an Eigen vector same Eigen vector. Here if we calculate alpha 0, so alpha 0 is inner product of r 0 with r 0 upon inner product of r 0 with a r 0. So, this comes out to be lambda v into lambda v upon lambda v into a lambda v. So, lambda you can take out lambda a v and this comes out to be 1 upon lambda because a v again become the lambda v. So, in the numerator you will be having lambda square in the denominator you will be having lambda cube. So, it comes out to be 1 upon lambda. So, the step length is 1 upon lambda and initial residual is lambda times that Eigen vector. Now, calculate x 1. So, x 1 will become x 0 plus alpha 0 r 0 and what is my claim? My claim is that the steepest descent method will converge in just one iteration. So, this x 1 should be equals to the exact solution which is x star in our case. So, it will be x 0 plus alpha 0 is 1 upon lambda yeah r 0 is lambda into v. So, this comes out to be x 0 plus v and x 0 plus v is nothing just x star because x 0 is x star minus v and which is exact solution of a x equals to b. So, in this way we have seen that if the initial error you choose the initial solution in such a way that the initial sol uh, error is an Eigen vector of the matrix A, then the steepest descent method will converge in just one iteration. So, if somehow you are having an idea of the Eigen vector of A, you can choose your initial solution in such a way that the error in the zero iteration will be that Eigen vector then your method will converge in just one iteration. This is the idea. So, let us take an example based on this. So, consider A equals to 3 minus 1 1 minus 1 3 minus 1 and 1 minus 1 3. So, this is the same example which we have taken in the earlier lecture. 
and here b the same b I am taking minus 1 7 minus 7. So, solve x equals to b using steepest descent. So, here if you see one of the eigen pair of a is 2 1 1 0. So, this is eigen value and this is corresponding eigen vector. So, is an eigen pair of A. If we choose x 0 as x minus v where x is the exact solution of this. So, 1 2 minus 2 minus 1 1 0. So, it comes out to be 0 1 minus 2. Then my r 0 will become b minus x 0 and b minus x 0 means. So, b minus x 0 this comes out to be 2 2 0. Here if I calculate alpha 0 it will be 1 upon lambda so 1 upon 2. So, what is x 1? x 1 is x 0 plus alpha 0 r 0 x 0 is 0 1 minus 2 plus 1 by 2 into 2 2 0 which is 1 2 minus 2 that is the same as the initials as the exact solution x star. So, by this example we have verified the result which is given in the theorem that you the, uh, the steepest descent method will converge in just one iteration. So, these are the references for this lecture and in this lecture we have seen some properties of steepest descent and then we have seen the residual norm steepest descent method for general system x equals to b where the matrix A is not a SPD matrix means symmetric and positive definite matrix. In the next lecture, we will learn the another gradient method that is called conjugate gradient method, which is having faster convergence when compared to the steepest descent method. So, thank you very much.